Hello everyone, welcome inside my fantastic world. Here we have Starfleet Steve, your humble star of the show. Today, nice and simple, I'm going to take you on a nice world tour. We're going to meet some of the characters, see some of the sights, because there's a lot of big things happening in this world, including elections. Yes, coming up in a future episode. But first of all, we've got to meet, like the Minecraft equivalent of Stoop Kid, except I call him. I call him. I don't actually call him anything. I thought something witty had come to me. Hello, sir. Oh, it's Spunkmire. I guess you're. Corner Nitwit. <laughs> yep, this is my bedroom. Um, apologies for the dirt block. There was an Enderman incident during construction. We'll come back to this later. Let's head down the stairs. Oh, oh, it's all go today. I've never seen the villagers work so hard. It's like they know they're making their YouTube debut, bless them. <laughs> Here we have all my lovely doggies. Hello, Wishbone and Ash. ZZ Top Dog, Dinner Bone. And I was running out of name ideas by the time I got to Fido. Fido, he loves that enchantment table. Let's head outside. Huh? Ooh, Mob Mountain. Definitely going to put some more mob heads up there when I get round to it. You golems, you're not very efficient, are you? It's great to have you all naturally here. Maybe span out across the village. Don't all conjugate in one area. Let's start here with the master's cabin. Big Poland flag on the roof. Eh, might as well be. Private, no illagers. Yep, that's very sound advice. Please like, sub for more. That's even sounder advice. Let's head in. Glass floor. Hey, there's a lot of proud farmers in this village. They need to keep an eye on their crops. Even though there's not a single farmer in here now. Hello, Skywalker. You're a butcher. Hmm. Meh, there's usually more activity than this. Now this is something. This is something I really want to show off. My public house. The Hero Brian Arms. We welcome all we recrafters. Whether it's watching a ball game, reading a book, or having a nice brew. All pubs have to have a bell. I like this place. Spend a lot of time in there if you paint the black. What do we have here? At one of my villagers, Mac, fancied himself as a bit of a conceptual artist. Built this. Was I really about to say monstrosity? Shame on me. Whoop, uh oh. Skelly over there will be careful. I don't know what it is, what he was trying to build before he left to go and live in the Never. Ooh, we'll have to pay him a visit sometime. His cool little Never base, I think you'll like it. All noobs must be accompanied by a pro. Oh. That means, does that mean I can't go in? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm the mayor of this town, I can go where I want. Get back to work, lazy villagers. Here we have the bulk of the work area. Hmm. This is the Fletcher's office. Lots of villagers hard at it. Anyone? Ooh, what's this? Protection wall. Well, the lever work has been busy, that's good. Yep. Loads of the villagers, they gather here, and another cluster up there by the master's cabin, about midday for trade. But this happy chappy, I found him wandering alone in the mountains, so I built him a little panda hut, gave him some bamboo, some jungle stuff. His name, if I can get close, ah, Jolon True, that's Romulan, what was it, uh oh. Don't worry, that sound, not to be feared. Yep. 
here we have all the cods in the swimming pond. Hmm. Oh, distracted by a light. Now I've got to be super duper careful going in here, guys. Don't let these guys fool you. They're lovely, friendly. That's the problem. Enrico the Enderman. Right, I don't want anyone sneaking out. Right. Where's that Enderman? Where's that Enderman at? Yep, these pillagers. Good guys. Turned over a new leaf. They live here. In our village. New Haven, by the way. As we call the place. Hello, Ted. Ted. That's not a particularly scary name. Oh, well. Alan. Alan. That's Deefen Baker. He was the former captain. And there's Fred T. Pillager. Weird place. Villagers sometimes glitch in here. I don't know how. It's funny they just run around terrified. Well, I suppose they would, wouldn't they? Pillagers. Look, they've even got their scarecrow from their former outpost. Whoa. I bet you guys still... Yep, I knew it. I knew there'd still have to be some loose about. Alright, alright. Let's not risk triggering Enrico. That would be unfortunate. I have my own cool little never portal. <laughs> In fact, those pillagers, they were captured. Oh, I think it was over there. And that's where I tamed them. And when I originally built this house for them, it was... C-R-A-P. It was. I had to make some mods to it. I had to jazz it up for them. Oh, are you guys off for trading afternoon? Well, they are as well. They'll throw wheat and all sorts of stuff to each other. They might even breed. So yeah, that house and this house, the first things that were built when I arrived here, like the pioneer I am, Farming, quite literally on the edge. You guys really have a thing for beetroot, don't you? Ah, that's for another day. The secure vault. Or maybe later, I don't know, I'll decide any other time. There's something very important I've got to do. It's midday, they're trading, and I'm hungry. My best friend, Roger, who helped me establish this settlement. Where is he? There he is. He's a cleric, he lives here, and he'll let me have a delicious bowl of his special reward stew. Mwah. If, yes, if I complete a challenge, what do you want me to do? Give the bees by my house some more flowers. You know what, Roger, that's actually... Ah, you've given me a couple of flowers as well. Go on, I'll take them. And if anyone wants to comment, you're copying SB. You totally can, because I deserve it. <laughs> I prefer to say I'm inspired by. <laughs> but yeah, what Roger's talking about with the bees and the flowers, just this way. These bees up here. They have been working extremely hard with one flower. Yeah, I think we can do a little better for them you know what why stop there there's a little mini meadow down here let's see what we can get them I'm not going to take all the flowers obviously but those bees work hard I should have done this a little sooner we'll have two of them another two poppies mm -hmm. anything else worth having uh, go on, one more of them for luck. Uh oh. Blimey, what have them villagers had me doing? I'm still trying to get round to breakfast, and the sun's setting. Oh, well, not to worry, not to worry. We've just about seen one half of the village. There's still a fair bit more to see. Put that there, there. One here, and one over there. That should be a nice surprise for them when they wake up. Question is, do I want to carry this on at night? You know what, no, why risk it? 
I am sick to death of having to repair creeper damage because I've been showing off at night. I shall sleep next to you, nameless sir. Boom. Let's get back outside, back to the action. Mm, um, should I take a dog? Actually, no, I better not. We have, we've got friendly pillagers, but there's one resident we're about to see. Yeah, she's a bit hostile. Taking the dog probably isn't the best. This is my barn. Originally it was just a fence with water and cows. I thought that was cruel, so I built them this. Minecraft animals' lives matter, as does their welfare. What have we got? I'll have your honey, so you can produce more. Ooh, we've got quite a bit now. I'm not going to harvest that hive though. There's no fire under it. They'll attack me. So let's head to the little bridge. Head on down. Cooling off in the swimming hole, sir. You know, I was I quite like this when I built it. Now I think it's a bit of an eyesore. But I've had that much fun messing around with the piglin. I had tons of crying obsidian from trade, so I thought, meh, might as well use that for the border. It's funny, sometimes you get villagers trying to come up here and they get stuck on here. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Ooh, a toolsmith, eh? Well, I've got no emeralds on me, but I'll pop back later. Oh, look, where are they coming from? Where have they been? You know, I've got some unusual behaviour from some of the villagers. Pardon me, gents. Uh, which way? Came in that way, so we'll go out this way. It is about time they started using that house though. It's been there for a while, untouched. You're a Fletcher. You're a farmer. Hard at it. Beetroot again. What is it with beetroot in these villages? Charlie B. Ooh. Oh, I could nick some of your emeralds. No, 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 that's cruel. They work hard for them. Let them enjoy their wealth. Nothing. I promise we will trade at some point. Oh no. Now this is a part... Oop, let me just have a quick munch on this. And realise I totally forgot to go and get my reward stew. <laughs> the potato just reminded me. You know what? It's, it's something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. Go away. Oh no. One of our earliest settlers. Man, she needs to clean up in there. Look at the mess. Cobwebs. Evanora, you in a good mood? I'm going to take that as a no. Yep, that's Evanora, the village witch doctor. Best left well alone. Now she's poisoned me, again. I don't know what it is. This thing I've got building with never materials, but I am totally into it at the moment. What have I told you guys? Close the doors. Yep, there's me taking the ridiculous route when there's a bridge right there, quite literally. Ooh, rewards due, rewards due. As long as there's no creepers lurking about. Because that has happened before. I did the challenge, Roger. Bees are very happy. And now... So am I. Mm, very delicious. I shall see you in the morning. Well, let's head out here. Another day, another dollar, as it were. I happen to know there's a pillager outpost, you know, not terribly far from here. 
Maybe I should take one of the pillagers in a boat to spend some time with their own kind. I just don't want them taking up old habits. Speaking of Mac from earlier and his modern art, there's another one of his little creations. Hmm. Fancies himself as a musician, a sculptor, a philosophist. Philosophist, is that right? Meh. Well, that stew didn't do a very good job, did it? Ah, well. I've got no armour on me. That's not good. What do I have upstairs? Aha! Diamond! That'll do nicely. I'm not going to risk the never ice. Let's see. Oh, well kitted up for an away mission. Well, having said that, where I'm going, diamond alone is insufficient. I'm just going to check with the pillagers. They may be able to help me. Whoop, forgot about Enrico. No. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm just borrowing a tiny bit of gold. Oops, that'll scare the villagers. <laughs> That's a f smithing table. I need a crafting table. Boom. Right. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't get enough gold. What a total noob. I think, what was I trying to make? Something... Anything I can wear that's gold. Nope. They're going to love me, aren't they? I'm going to have to steal them as a block from them. Oh, I think we've answered the question. Noob or pro, which one am I? <laughs> Pardon me, sir? Right. Get in. Ooh, you've got Neverite in there. You guys have been busy, haven't you? Right. I thought four was enough. for me. Uh, scatter, villagers, scatter. You know the rules, no more than gatherings of six anyway. Come on, disperse. Right, anything gold, preferably boots or helmets. Yep. And they get one ingot back. This is hopefully not necessary, but just in case there's any piglin knocking about. You know what? You know what? I am not committing that sin. Going blast. No flint. No steel that I can see. If I go to the nether about flint and steel, can I risk it? I'll take some iron. I'm sure I can find a flint in the nether if worst comes to worst. I know where there's a fortress with a flint and steel in a chest, so... Whew. This could be the last potato I ever eat. Let's go. Yep, I knew that would happen. I knew it. Oh, look, an upside down cross. And a poppy. Really? Right. Get out of it. This is my never. Oh. Alright, alright, it's your never, really. I'm only teasing. Man, this bow's strong. Ooh, gas to you. More arrows. Another special house I have to build for someone. Uh oh. I don't want the house destroying, but yeah. Winnie the Wanderer lives in there. A witch who wandered through the portal. Got stuck here, so I thought. You've got to live the rest of your life in the never. Where's the ghost that was shooting at me? You better run, ghost. I better build her a nice house. So she's got somewhere to live and doesn't pose as much as a threat to me. 
around this corner. Let's check there's no ghosts. Yep. Behold, Max never base. Making statements again with his his farm. Oh, where? Oh, when did you come through the portal? I know one of the golems followed through the portal, just wandered through, and the other one or two spawned in actually. I'll be careful not to click a bed though. And about this respawn anchor. Fun to play with. Uh, what, what's the stuff called? Uh oh, there's a golem about to get destroyed. A glowstone and crying obsidian. Never ever try to use one in the overworld. The results can be quite explosive. I think we're about to be down a golem. Ah oh well. Let's head down this way. Ow. Oh, brilliant work. That's indie magic. Brilliant. Put the ladders in. What's wrong with them? Well, thought they were coming after me then. Put the ladders in. Fall anyway. I mean, you've got to bring a little taste of home to the never, haven't you? You. Now oh, he's gone. Here we have our very own little corner shop. I, who have we got? We've got... There's the shopkeep. Oh Christ. Granville. Gladys and Featherstone. Nobby. And Piglin Jill. I'm going to give Featherstone. Can I have a can of Red Bull and a packet of Walker's Cheese and Onion, please? A fire charge, that's just as good. <laughs> I did actually want to build all this closer to Max Never Base, but then I realised, yeah, ghosts. Hmm. So I'll build the stuff further away. I mean, Fortress I talk about, by the way, is just that way. It can be really fun building in the Never, but in survival mode, you have to be so careful. And I won't lie, creative has played a part in some of this world. But every adventure you see will always be in survival mode. Eek. Oh, oh you're there, but you're behind me. I get it. Do not fall here. Hey, uh oh. That's a blooming problem. What, what, what just hit me? Oh, God. Them things again. I hate soul sand. Quick regen munch. Try and avoid the base. If that guy shoots at me, I don't want to damage it. I mean, Mac, he moved here because he says villagers felt feel safer in the never. And to be fair, I suppose that's true. There's nothing here that will outright target them like there is in the overworld. Whoops. Ah, yeah. There's nothing here that will outright target them, is there? As long as they don't walk off the edge or walk into fire, they probably are safer than the overworld. Oh, pulling your late shift, Mr. Buzzy. I'm going to get back to my house quickly because the amount of creepers that gather in this village, you would not believe. Speaking of gatherings... Just before we get ourselves to bed, sign off. I'm just going to say I hope you guys enjoyed my little world tour there. There's still a lot more to see. And as I say, the elections will be happening over that way. Maybe epi episode 3, 4 by the time we get to them. Because planned for next time, I found a secret mine shaft right under, the under this, what's it called, village. I think it could be fun to explore that, but we just need to sort out what flag are we going to put atop the Master's Cabin for Episode 2. We are going with Estonia! 
Sweet. So I shall start slaughtering sheep, gathering and dyeing wool, ready to put Estonia up there as promised. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I'm looking forward to episode two, mining underground deeply. <laughs> And I'll, oh, and I'll show you the secure vault, I promise. And we might take a sneak peeky look at Election City. So yeah, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Be there for episode two, don't miss it. And if you enjoyed this, please do also consider hitting like. Thank you guys, and I will see you all down the road. Night, night.